Hey everybody, it's Dr. Eric Ball Cabbage, and we're back for another edition of Thyroid Thursday. And in today's episode, I want to talk about black cumin seed, which is also known as Nigella sativa. So Nigella sativa is a medicinal plant. It's been used from, in Chinese medicine for hundreds of years to help lots of different conditions. But we're seeing more published research on its beneficial effects. And in a recent article in BMC and Complementary and Alternative Medicine, the authors did a study where they provided black cumin over an eight week period of time to a group of patients who had Hashimoto's thyroiditis. And as many of you know, Hashimoto's is an autoimmune attack on the thyroid gland. And what they wanted to do is they wanted to see what the beneficial effects of using this product were. Now, the active ingredient in Nigella sativa or black cumin is thymoquinone and it's known to have antioxidant, anti-inflammatory and immune modulating properties. So what they did is they provided two grams of black cumin seed uh, over an eight week period of time to the participants. One gram before lunch, one gram before dinner. And after eight weeks, they were able to demonstrate an improvement of TSH. So TSH levels dropped, an improvement of TPO antibodies, so their TPO antibodies dropped, an improvement of their T3 levels, the active hormone, a, a drop in something called vascular endothelial growth factor, an improvement of BMI, an improvement of the patient's weight, an improvement of waist circumference, an improvement of hip circumference, and an improvement of waist to hip ratio. So essentially these people were losing excess body fat, which is really what a lot of us want to do. And so we can see that this black cumin seed has a lot of beneficial effects and there's very little potential for, set, for side effects. Now three of the participants in the study did drop out of the study because they had some itchiness and nausea. But most of the research shows that there's very little potential for side effects. But you should note that some of those people did have some itchiness and nausea. So if you decide to use it, be aware that the, if you have those symptoms, you might need to reduce the dose or stop its use. So the question is, should you use it if you have Hashimoto's? Well, I think it can be a beneficial thing to add to, the, to your arsenal. We'll, we are incorporating it with our patients who have Hashimoto's and cellular hypothyroidism, uh, and we're seeing nice results with it. Uh, but one of the key things I don't want you to get focused on is just taking another supplement, because I think one of the most important things to do is not just modulate your symptoms and modulate your labs and knock your antibodies levels down, but to get to root cause. So black cumin seed can help modulate the inflammatory response, it can help modulate the autoimmune attack on your thyroid gland, but it isn't necessarily going to address root cause. And I think that's one of the things we need to do for the long run is to help you identify what are the causative factors that are driving your inflammation, that are driving your autoimmunity and the attack on your thyroid gland. So I think you can use it. One to two grams per day is uh, a, a, probably the appropriate dose, but also consider the fact that you have to look at what are the causative factors that are driving the chronic inflammation, that are driving your cellular hypothyroidism, that's driving your symptomatology, and what's driving your autoimmune condition. So if you're going to use it, use it as a support product, but do work on identifying the root cause factors that are driving your autoimmune condition. Hopefully that helps. If you have any, any questions, uh, put them below wherever you watch this video. Take care.